Welcome to the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. Nah, and I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. So TNT. Yo. Um, there was a uh, political candidate in Japan. Oh, Jesus. I thought you were going to talk about Joe Biden for <laughs> half a second, Everybody dude. knows about There's nothing to say. Oh, my God. So, okay. Thank you for not. So, uh, so. There was a candidate. I, I don't even know. It was a female. I don't know her name. Okay. Not Donald so Trump. So she gets up. Like, they all have time on TV on the channel NHK, which is, I guess, their public yeah, broadcaster. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like the... Uh, Funny wh- I know what's, that. What's the um, American... PBS? Yeah. P- so it's like the PBS of Japan. And they... And she goes up, and she starts talking about her candidacy. Candidacy. So then she ends up taking her shirt off. Yeah. And she, but she has on like a flesh colored tube top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she starts asking if everyone thinks that she's sexy. Do you and, think I'm and, sexy? And then, and then at, invited them to add her on a the messaging app line, which I guess is probably a Japanese messaging app. Um, okay. And she said that she was going to respond to each of them personally if they message. And then... And then after she took it off, she delivered the rest of her speech in the tube top like that. The caveat to that, I guess, is. Um, go ahead, go ahead, tell no, that. No, no, no. What was she? What was she running for? It's like governor of somewhere. Oh, a governor. Okay, but, go ahead, keep going. But in these type of elections, mm-hmm. the broadcaster is required by law to give airtime to all candidates. So whether yeah. they're real or not. So I guess during the same time frame, there was a, a Japanese guy who dresses up like the Joker and he went on and promoted himself to be for governor. Yeah, too. I remember that guy. So I saw he just kind of like got on a table, laughed a little bit. He sat a chair on top of a table and just laughed. And I was like, what the hell? Is so like going it's on in here? the same vein. So yeah. I don't think she's a serious candidate, but like for some reason, okay. PBS right. is required by law. To give everybody time to talk, whether they're a real candidate or they're just being ridiculous. Yeah. Um, so that that's the caveat to this. But okay, I still you had me thinking that this was like a person who got who like garnered some votes. Like she had an opportunity Are you to me win. Someone ain't gonna vote for her. I mean, probably some, some horny ass dude is gonna be like, got my vote. That's one way to give votes, but you lose a lot of women vote. Obviously, you're gonna lose pretty a lot much of all women vote. Yeah, yeah. yeah nobody you get horny guy vote. And that's it. Maybe maybe a couple lesbians, I guess. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Horny lesbian votes. Yeah. <laughs> the horny lesbian. Those are hard to find. Um, what? I don't know. Bring, <laughs> bring never, a reference? I've never been a lesbian. Who knows? I was, okay. just, I was just guessing. I was just guessing that horny lesbians are hard to find. Okay. All right. <laughs> bro, it's, bro, when you said it, it sounded like a unicorn to me. You could have just said like griffins or like manticores. <laughs> and I would have been like, yes, I agree. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, it, look. It wouldn't surprise me if that tactic was used in the near future by a candidate to try to get votes, like a serious candidate, like somebody who actually like a porn star is like, I'm going to run for governor. And she's just like (sighs) free membership to my OnlyFans If you if you vote for me for president, when you look at the oh, my God, see, and this is the thing. It started with politics. I'm already thinking about politics here. I mean, it's political. It like, is political. I mean, it's relatable. And yeah. the only way I can relate it to is if I relate it to the culture that I'm familiar with, and that'd be American culture. So I, I, I would have to say is that I could definitely see an American candidate. Like, politics has become so much of, like, a circus act anymore. And oh, yeah. it's the, in the, But the sad part is it's like it, it really affects how the country is ran, but it's like a goddamn sideshow. Yeah. The more outlandish and wild you are, the more likely you are to get voted in. I Which mean, is not the type of person we need running the country. I feel like that makes you more memorable, but I, I, it obviously doesn't speak to your ability. It obviously doesn't, man. Does this being like? I mean, but look at somebody like Mar- uh, what's her Marjorie, whatever. Marjorie Taylor. Green. Like she just says all sorts of wild stuff, <laughs> acts like a child, and people know, love her for that. Yeah, I mean, she's got a fan base, you know, and so, she, she earned that. I mean, like when I when it comes down to it, politics is a serious position and you should only accept that position if your true intention is on helping individuals. Trying to make your country better. 
that part. And it, like a lot of people, making your country better is a little too vague. It needs to be make your country better for everyone. Not just your for cons- your group or yeah, yeah not just sense. your constituents or your your uh, voter base because yes, your voter base is going to get you back in office. But if you can appeal, but if you're isolating other cultures exactly. or like whatever, yeah, it's just like you. I, f- I don't understand what happened to bipartisanism in in like a lot of countries. Like a lot of countries have been uh their far right vote or their fire far right candidates have been uh being beaten lately. There's a couple of examples. I can't think of them France at all. France was the one because France they, was because the they one. thought the alt right was gonna win and then yeah. the alt left won yeah, in surprise yeah, yeah. and the first thing they did was like say they wanted to tax any income over four hundred thousand dollars ninety percent. And I was like hot damn. But like and honestly, the dollar speaks. So whoever's speaking to the person who does not have a lot, guess what? The majority of us don't have four hundred thousand dollars. So yeah, you're gonna get all our well, votes. But and, and, well, the funny part about it is like, <laughs> you know, four hundred thousand dollars a year is a pretty reasonable income. So like, it, yeah. it, you know what I mean? Like, if I made four hundred k a year, I'd be good. But like, people who usually get that much money are greedy and just want to make more and more and more. So it's yeah. like. I'm not going to lie, Jonas. It is kind of crazy when I look at... Uh, now, now, you're going to say is that nobody needs to make this amount of money, and I totally agree. But I saw one on a basketball player, and I think he made like $68 million. His taxes were damn near $29 million. And I was like, that's insane. Well, yeah, because well, I mean, like, cause it's the something... same percentage, right? But the percentage is just so much higher, right? So. I don't know. No oh, man, that's almost half. That's almost fifty percent. If you made sixty nine or sixty eight, and he has to pay twenty nine, it's insane. So I can understand where a person who is a millionaire or a billionaire can come across and be like, "I'm paying a lot of money." Yeah. But, well, that's why uh, sports athletes go to states that don't have state tax because it saves them mi- literally yeah. millions of dollars. Yeah, and then they have to. There's a jock tax. Are you familiar with the jock tax? Which no. is essentially the tax. F- for you making money in out of state because they fly all over the state. Oh, gotcha. But the, the home may- state has to get their cut. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because you have to pay tax in the state you live in and the state you work. So, so I it, it I feel like I hate to say this, but I almost sip, sympathize with the super rich for that matter because I know they do pay exorbitant well, taxes. Okay. And the, the idea that Biden wants to even increase those. But it's for the good of the rest. of. If you have billions of dollars, so much money that you cannot physically spend it all. There's not enough hours in the day for you to spend that. There's not enough stuff in the world for you to buy. And obviously being an entrepreneur, not being an entrepreneur, but being a philanthropist is that takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work to set up foundations, to set up charities, to set up fundraisers, to set up dinners and stuff to get the money going to the right places right, right, and right. to vet these individuals. Then yes, let the government handle that to a certain extent. You know, right? Oh, you no. have two. You you well, literally have so much money that your accountant's saying you have to spend some of this. Well, here's the thing, like, I, and that's why I understand. Like, it's like you know the Republican mindset is like, let's not tax the rich. Da 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 da. It, you know that's kind of where. It, but like, it, I understand it in the fact that like, you earned that money. Mm-hmm. Why are you taking all my money? Because like I have a small business, I just like run volleyball events, right? You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I don't, I don't make a lot of money mm-hmm. doing it. I do it for fun. I like it, you know. Mm-hmm. But say, say it blew up, and I, you know, I spread my business all over the country doing volleyball events, and I made millions of dollars doing it. Mm-hmm. I don't want the government to take half just because I make millions. Mm-hmm. I'd be pissed. Like, why am I paying two million dollars in tax? You know what I mean. So I, sure, I get it. It makes sense. It does. It does. It does make sense. Now, in the case of, I don't know what the what the tax would have to be on a person who you know make a baby millionaire. Like, if you made one two million dollars, <laughs> the fact that we call them baby millionaires. Like, I don't know. I don't know what the tax would be on that. I'm sure it probably would not be nearly as bad as this uh this basketball. Yeah, player. but you're still the more you make, the more they take. So like, yeah, it's but, like every every bracket you go up, they mm-hmm. take more of that bracket yeah so it's like like so, it's like 30 percent, then it goes 35 then you know whatever so yeah. so i feel like the system is built off of uh psychology to a certain extent right psychology is is that people have a natural inclination to hoard when we play video games we end up with a billion items that we never use because why we might need them chances are we will beat the game 
or die and never use all those items. Same thing holds true in real life. When you are hoarding money because you made $68 million in a year and there's no way you can spend all of that money, even though you're buying everything you want, you're going everywhere, you got a private plane, you're doing, you're doing everything you could want, but you still can't spend it all. To a certain extent, the government has stepped in and they've they've kind of like sidestepped the psychology of it, of you not giving that money. Your best intentions would be, I want to give that money so it helps people. So we are helping the country through the psychology of taking the money yeah. through tax. You know, you know, it may be too much for like a certain individual, but you know, there's things we can do to You know what's really funny about that? that. Uh, this is like on topic, but off topic. Mm -hmm. You know, you said you hoard video game game items. Mm -hmm. uh, it's funny. I was talking to one of my uh, one of my friends from back home in Ohio, and he was talking about how he was playing replaying through Resident Evil, and mm -hmm. he got to the end, and he has to restart because and go back to a previous save because he doesn't have enough ammo to like finish to be. He's like, I physically oh cannot God. beat the boss, and like I was just like, wow. and that's why every time I play Resident Evil now, I always have I've way never... too much ammo because I know that that was a thing so anyways wow. um, it was just funny because it, it brought up that memory but Fair um enough. but no man i get it it's like it's i mean and even like and, and i'll be honest even like at different times in my life when i've saved up like a decent chunk of money right like not like millions of dollars but like I'm, and I, when i feel good about like what i got in the bank as like an average person exactly. i'm still like i feel the need of like but what if i had double this yeah. how good would i feel how good how secure would i feel then so it's like a matter of security but like once you have million your your you your view of what you need to be secure gets warped mm -hmm. so like i'm sure even elon when you know most of most of his money is not liquid it's not cash it's yeah. assets but i'm sure when he goes under like a million dollars cash in the bank he's probably like holy shit i'm broke you think he goes under a million no, but, dollars no cash, cash. Uh, like liquid money yeah. he probably is like holy shit i'm broke yeah because i, I don't oh, think he hits that but, but yeah right. I, could, I could see what you're i see what you're saying like you know what there's I mean? definitely a benchmark right like because he might only keep a million dollars liquid all the rest yeah. of it's an asset so like, he would be like shit now i gotta sell stock or i gotta sell a car or i gotta whatever if elon woke up with my bank account he'd kill himself yeah right <laughs> he'd be like oh god it's over it's all I, over. i'm homeless now <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, anyways, uh, that's all time every day. So, go to thecrazynow.com and subscribe. My and cash app is TNT Dynamite 777. Hey, for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.